on, folks. We're a little bit slow. <laughs> today and today and today. Hurry up. Hang on. For, wait, keep going. Come on, come on. Finally. Okay, now we can get this thing going. Here we go. Good evening, everybody. It's Monday night, or in this case, it's the night before. <laughs> Oh my. Seriously. The scariest night on the face of the planet. Yeah. After well, Halloween. No, I'm we kidding. have a lot. There's a lot of stuff we have to be concerned about. But yeah. We'll yeah. get into that a little bit later. Right. Well, anyway, it is Monday night. Time for another work week here beyond the year we, beyond the year we see Infinity Project. And this is Monday Media. Of course, like I said, it's the night before. You know, and if unless you've been living under a rock, you know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we'll get to the we'll get all the craziness out of the way in a minute. I'm your host for tonight. I am Oddball Extreme. I'm currently joined in line by three of my crazy cohorts. First, we have our master and creator Frodo down that Being way. A weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you all are getting a little bit of a treat because you get to see my actual face. Mm -hmm. So, any haters out there? Yeah, deal with the people. And we also, <laughs> yep, <laughs> exactly. And we also have our friend Spirit Spotter Tim. Good evening to you, sir. Good evening, my dear. We also have. Makes ha me wonder what spirits you've been spotting lately. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we also have over here our star child slash Mr. On Hunter slash something, 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 something. Oh, I Janet. forgot to chase it. I forgot to change my name. You forgot to chase your name? Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> Gotta go the Humpter, though. Gotta go the Humpter. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'm, do the. Yeah, I'm Mr. Uh, I'm Mr. On Humpter. Brought to you by Zest. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to change it starting next week. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, let's put it this way. This is really the night before, and it's going to be insane tomorrow, whether you've already voted or you're, or you're going to vote tomorrow. Because of the simple fact that, you know, they're going to be, I'm going to tell you the truth. I am going to be a rookie poll worker tomorrow. This is going to be a serious trial by fire. Yeah. Oh. Um, you know what I told my mom? What? Jack? If Trump loses tomorrow night, he's going to go on a three, three day or longer Twitter rant. Oh well, no. Oh no. He's already said that no matter what the result co starts coming out, He's got his lawyers ready to go to the Supreme Court. Well, go to hell and shut up, bastard. Yeah. The only for him is it doesn't work that way. No. Uh, he thinks it does because of what happened in 2000. Oh, yes. With the, with the, with the hanging chads. <laughs> but um, before we really get going with tonight, we do have to make a little bit of a sad news announcement. Yeah, you do that one. I have another bit of news I want to take. Sure, to that's fine. Yeah. Well, the first, of course, is um, we lost a giant over the weekend by the name of Sean Connery, the first AKA man to play James Dr. Bond. Henry Jones, a.k.a. James Bond, mm -hmm. a.k.a. whatever role he played in Darby O'Gill and the Little People. <laughs> also, uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yep. That. And something you may not know. His Hi, face. Mike. Hey, Mike. Yeah, hey. something you might not know about Sean Connery. His face was the model for the original Scott Tracy marionette for Thunderbirds. So, well, um, I'm gonna warn you, Mike. There's gonna be a little bit of a tinge of some politics, but I'm gonna try and frame it in a public safety manner instead of political. Okay, that's fine. Hey, um, you, I like your shirt. It's nice and snazzy. I'm used to seeing you in a t-shirt. 
Thank you. It's what I wore yesterday. Huh. Cool. I just wear whatever. <laughs> well, well, I didn't get out of my nightgown today, so. Well, Sunday and, was shirt, so. Yeah. Um, anyway, before we really get going after that sad news, I do got to make a big mention. People who have participated in or are planning on participating in uh, those Trump trains throughout the country. I have some very, very bad news for you. Y'all are violating FEC regulations. Federal Election Commission uh, oh. uh, is base. It basically says that you are not allowed to intimidate a voter. You are not allowed to coerce a voter. None of that. Mm-hmm. And um, I think blocking those highways in several locations across the country. I think that would count. Correct. Yes, it would. Mm-hmm. Um, also, going around polling places screaming at people who are trying to vote. Um, No matter what Trump says, period, you are not allowed at all to try and manipulate another person's vote. Mm -hmm. And if you do so, it is a federal crime. It is a federal felony. Mm-hmm. And seriously, uh, any, anybody who's going to go vote tomorrow, if you run into any problems, I think there's supposed to be a phone number. I think it's in each different state you can call. There's also a federal number that you okay. can call. Yeah, okay. Um, because any interference in the electoral process at all, for, by anyone, is a violation. And if you're interested, Shirley, can you actually look up the statutes? Yeah. But it is it is something to do with the Federal Election Commission. And basically, now I'm not going to go into huge detail about it, but mm-hmm. it is a felony. You can have, at minimum, one year prison time for pushing people to vote whichever way you want. You can go to federal prison, and mind you, federal prison is different from state prison. Mm -hmm. In most state prisons, you have to serve 65% of whatever time you are issued. So if you're issued five years, you have to serve a minimum of three three years and, like, I think three years, basically. In federal prison, uh uh-uh. 85%. 85%. That means a five-year prison sentence, you're serving four years and, like, four months. So. Okay, I'm at the Federal Election Commission website. What am I looking for? Look for the laws regarding uh, poli- uh election tampering. Not election tampering, but... It's it's essentially election tampering. Okay. I'll just try election laws first and see what I can find out. And by the way, excuse me for being really, 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 really tired. <laughs> Not foreign assistance. Regarding... Statutes 42. That's what I'm looking for. There okay. it is. Do... Yeah. Do... Election law regarding coercion. It, it should be 18 U.S.C. Section 594. Okay. That's and funny. I'm going to read this directly from uh, the Cornell Law School. Okay. So this is direct from Cornell. If you want, I can. I'm going to actually copy and paste this into our. Yeah, please do, because I think I've got the wrong ones here. (sighs) Okay, hold on. See, there's 42 results, so I may end up finding it. Here. Yeah. 
You can get it to me a little bit quicker. There, it's there. Now, to explain, 18 USC section 594, and this is the direct reading of the code. Whoever intimidates, threatens, coerces, or attempts to intimidate, threaten, or, or coerce any other person for the purpose of interfering with the right of such other person to vote or to vote as he may choose or of causing such other person to vote for or not to vote for any candidate for the office of president, vice president, presidential elector, member of the Senate, member of the House of Representatives, delegate from the District of Columbia, or resident commissioner at any election held solely or in part for the purpose of electing such candidate shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than one year or both. Yeah, so, in this case, you, it's all about safety. It's not just about safety. Mm -hmm. It's the it's the people's right mm -hmm. to vote. Okay. And it's the people's right to have that vote be for who they want. Right. This is not I, and I'm not even making this a political issue. This isn't politics. This is law. Mm -hmm. And anyone any person who has been involved in any way with any of these Trump trains running through America trying to intimidate people to force them to vote one way or the other. Now, I'm not saying that there has a big coercion on both sides. Right. There probably has. However, there hasn't been nearly as much coercion coming from one side to the other. True. Okay. Anyone who participated in any of these Trump trains especially the one in Texas that put the Biden-Harris bus at risk. Y'all have violated federal law. Mm -hmm. This isn't a joke. This isn't a hyperbole. This isn't bullshit. This is serious business. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you, as citizens who are supporting one candidate feel it's in your right to do that no mm -mm. this is not a first amendment issue this is a legal issue right this is one of those times where laws were made to restrict first amendment rights because first amendment rights don't equal every fucking thing you can do exactly you can't you can't scream fire in a fucking theater you can't scream fire in a theater mm -hmm. you cannot so why should you be allowed to point a sword at someone and tell them they have to vote for Trump? Mm-hmm. I'm just asking. What do you think, Mike? Um, I don't know. I'm just tired. Sorry, guys. No, That's you're fine. I was just asking because I, I'm, I'm not trying to be political about this. No, you're you're good. I'm trying to be legal. Mm -hmm. And there is a difference. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, it's I, all good. I would say this if people on the left were doing it. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I would say it to either way. I would too. But surely, you're working the polls. Correct. Now, Explain on your perspective. What are you supposed to do? Number one, I cannot wear anything that is going to influence one side or the other. <coughs> and, you know, number two, you know, my, you know, I could be doing a whole bunch of things. Like, I could be admitting the voters. I could be standing outside saying, you know, hey, you know, here's what you do. You know, we, and, you know, this is going to vary state to state, but I know at least here, 
anybody who's not wearing a mask, we're not going to turn anybody away. We have a special separate area just for them. They can still vote. So. And Do they have perfect. like masks that they give out? Um, I don't think so because there can be some, what? there can be some people. I don't who still know about your out. Sam's Club, but it has a box of fifty. So the paper disposable ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the problem is we may have so many voters. We're not gonna have. We never. We never have enough. And that's a problem. And that's one of the problems with this pandemic. We mm-hmm. haven't had enough PPEs. But that's neither here nor there. Right. The fact is. I, as an American, am offended that someone running for public office is pushing for illegal activities. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not even trying to kid around here. I'm offended at this. Vote twice. Vote twice. No. One vote, one person. Or someone said, one person said something to the effect of, you know, if you voted early, double check and make sure your thing counts. If it doesn't go down there, grab a provisional ballot. I was like, are you trying to make, are you trying to be stupid? Mm -hmm. (sighs) And you notice we're not telling you who's doing this. Mm Mm-hmm. We're just being serious about this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And everyone who has said that this is the most important election of our lives, I have to agree. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, this, this is going to be like the craziest. I mean, for me, as a first-time poll worker, this will be a serious trial by fire. No question. Well, just don't let the assholes intimidate you. I uh, no, I'm not going to. Okay, I'm actually looking up. Okay, here we go. Mm, excuse me, sorry. I actually okay. have a little bit of information. Okay. If you choose to follow the certain someone's suggestion and attempt to vote twice... Federal cr- federal law is very specific. Mm-hmm. Here's your there's your story link, Shirley. Cool. All right, I'll get that. And essentially, is voting twice illegal? Voting twice is illegal in federal elections under federal law. Voters who cast votes more than once in an election will be fined not more than ten thousand dollars and imprisoned not more than five years or both according to the federal law yeah that's what some people are trying to get people to do is like i don't think so state penalties vary Mm -hmm. but If you're caught, you're going to get nailed. Mm. For instance, in Pennsylvania, you could be fined up to $15,000 and serve as much as seven years. Mm. So, I just want to clarify to everyone who's voting tomorrow, if you have already put in your absentee ballot or your mail vote by mail ballot do not vote again Mm -hmm. it's like you know for everybody who voted absentee you can like check your locals check your individual state and i have mine where it shows up it said um Send, uh, returned, accepted, blah, blah, blah. And as of tomorrow, it'll probably be tallied. So. Um, Shirley? Yes. I'm going to do a little demonstration on live on Zoom. Okay. Um, if I start screen sharing, we'll show on the, on mm-hmm. the, 
actually know because if we start screen sharing on Zoom, it will freeze up on Twitch. Okay. We won't be able to see it. Okay, I'll have to do this verbally. So I'm on my state's uh, absentee ballot thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put in my information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably better to do it verbally because because usually when I check, it would reveal my actual address, and I really don't want to do that if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> So I put in my information, my real name, my real birth date. Click, I am not a robot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let the recapture check go through. It's went through. I hit search. It says success. And it shows for me date request process by auditor 10-15-2000. Date ballot sent by auditor, 10 15, 2000. Date vote, 2020, by the way. Date mm -hmm. voted ballot received by auditor, 10 15, 2020. Mm -hmm. So that tells you if you look it up, and you don't even have to have your voter ID number most of the time, just. Uh, the way you... it did with me, they asked for my first and last name my date of birth and the last four digits of my social it varies state by state but for that the most was me. part that, that was me yeah but in iowa you don't have to put much information just your name mm -hmm. and your birth date yeah that's the same with mine too so okay you really don't need that much and if you've already absentee voted it shows up yeah so, under no circumstances, if you put in an absentee ballot or you voted by mail or you voted in person early, under no circumstances whatsoever should you be trying to vote again. Mm -hmm. That being said, we also got a little bit of other news to talk about. Okay. Yeah. And oh. this one, I think, will need a certain other app, surely. Oh. Oh, yes, my radar. And I think I know why. Hang on. Let's start with this. Let's do this little quick thing to the weather report. <laughs> I'd love to get this. Our laptop skins easier to put on. They are, but they do cost a little bit. All right. Oh, well, JJ. Oh, by the nice way, uh, for before, before yeah, before we do anything, uh, JJ's in the chat room, and she said, "Well, the polling place I went to had us wear a plastic glove, and use when they're style style stylized on the touchscreen, and just return it uh, in a bin so it could be sterilized so someone else can use it." Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm going to have to do with myself. Yep. All right, so bear, so give me just a second here, so I can get bear the bear with you growl, right? Yeah, get, uh, get the, get the my, my radar up. If it'll come up today, maybe. Three uh, years later. There we go. Okay, I need to install my radar on this. This is not my laptop. This is my wife's, but I'm using it because she's giving me permission. For tonight's show. Yeah. Hey, WYFF. There's a there's a station like that's like, hey, that's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, there's it's called WYFF. <laughs> so. Okay, anyway, radar, come on. Be I'll a good let you little guys boy. come out with me at nine o'clock, poochies. Yeah, but no, guess what? It, guess what? It's Hurricane Etta not singing at last. <laughs> Oh, God, we broke a record then, didn't we? Yep, the record's been broken. Actually, according to the uh, Weather Channel, it hasn't been broken. It's just been tied. Oh. But there is still a very good chance we might still break this record. Yeah, because we're still got a little ways to go. All right, Etta, yeah. where are you? Etta? Okay, Eda. oops, I got... Well, I've heard now. I, from what I heard, it's Etta, but you know what? Etta, Eta, Betta, Beta, Feta, Feta. <laughs> Jeez, Feta, Feta. Here. 
<laughs> Reddit. <laughs> there Reddit it is. Oh Reddit, Reddit. Wait a minute, does that say five on there? Oh, what? shit. Wait, what? It looks like it could be a cat five. By tomorrow at 12 noon. Rack. Let me see what the, what the latest on this thing is, because I, I've been so busy all afternoon, I haven't had a clue. Oh, shit, it's 150! Oh, shit. I have not seen anything like that since Mitch, a long, Mitch back in, I think, it was 2000? Yeah. Damn. And it's 70, it's 70 miles south-southeast of Cabo, Cabo Gracias Cabo Adios Lucas. on the... No, Cabo Gracias a Dios on the Nicaraguan Honduras border. Crap. Yeah, and by the looks of it, um, it it. Let me try a different. It could sound. come up to the to. It could come up to Florida by the looks of it. It's not sure yet. Well, what are you doing there, Mike? You got an interesting tablet. It's my phone. Oh no! Well, it's gonna depend. It's an eleven eight, and it'll be a tropical storm. But it may, it's gonna be nowhere like it is right now. Yeah, uh, this is this is big. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say this. We're looking at Cat Four right now. Ground speed is only seven miles per hour. Mm-hmm. But the pressure, that pressure is low. That's it. That's ridiculously low. Nine hundred twenty-seven. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and here's the scary thing that I think people need to realize. While yes, this doesn't exactly break the record yet, this is a pretty hefty storm. Mm -hmm. And by the looks of things, by the eighth. It's going to go back out to the ocean, back mm -hmm. out to the Caribbean. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here. Based on the trajectory they've got listed, it looks like it may hit Georgetown area, which mm -hmm. would be Jamaica, I believe. Yeah. What is a light box? I have no idea. <laughs> It had to do with videos. Or pictures, yeah. It basically is something that is used to diffuse light to make it look like you're lighting up something more naturally. But anyway, it looks like it could hit Georgetown, which is just northwest of uh, Jamaica. And mm -hmm. if it hits Georgetown, it'll be on path to hit around the Grandma Grandma area of uh, Cuba mm -hmm. but here's the thing it's pretty unpredictable so if it does hit Georgetown it could for all we know and I'm not saying this is what's going to happen but mm -hmm. we know how well my uh, my predictions have been for the hurricanes this year so mm -hmm. there's a chance it might go up instead of going to. Oh wow! I took up. I don't want to take the winds out. See, there's like a very there's a very tiny eye in there. Yeah. This hurricane's really, really well defined eye, mm -hmm. and that's scary. Yeah. But um, there is a chance that this storm could veer to the north. And if it does veer north, it could threaten Tampa, Cape Coral, uh, Cape Canaveral. Uh, no, Canaveral's right at the edge, isn't it? Canaveral's on the eastern end, because I know Jen and yeah, I, Jen talking, and I went there. I'm talking the western side, so like oh, Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. It may even affect you, surely. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's like, and people are here, and you've probably seen this, like, uh, like Tyler Seabree saying, "No, Amanda Curran uh, here at WSFA, she had one of those, like, uh, had the Gulf of Mexico had the sign. Sorry, we're close." <laughs> right. It, it needs to be closed. But here's the thing. 
I'm I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying there's a chance of it because yeah. these these storms can veer in odd directions. We That's still true. have we still haven't figured out what drives the direction of these storms. Yeah, because I know the great the, the the craziest storm that couldn't go which could couldn't tell which way I want to go was Elena back in eighty five. Look at what's gonna hit Mississippi, then it went back down to Florida, then it went to Mississippi, then it went heading towards Florida, then it finally made landfall in Mississippi. <laughs> Did yeah, not make it, up its it, mind. It's these storms we don't know we don't have the means to predict them. Uh-huh. But based on what I'm seeing and how it looks like it's taking a really, really steep turn. Probably because it may be getting attracted by... You see, now, look at this. This this water right here is very clear, and these clouds right down there tells you it's not as warm here as it has been. Because, of course, here in Montgomery, it's going to be 36 degrees tonight. But I'm just saying there's a chance it could do almost anything, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't claim to know. Mm-hmm. No, that's fine. No, that's fine. You're right. I just want everyone that's in that area of the Gulf to be very, very cautious over the next week or two. Yeah. I'll be back. Okay. All right. Well, while he's going, I'll away, be Beethoven. I'll be Bach, <laughs> and I will be Beethoven. <laughs> I'll be oh my. <laughs> yeah, well anyway, um while he's away, uh I'll change the subject a little bit. Uh, of course yesterday was my birthday. I turned forty six. And some people looked at me like, You don't look forty six, you look like you're twenty six. Like, well thank you for the compliment. You really <laughs> don't. I, 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 I gotta you interrupt know. here and say I agree with them, surely. Aw. You're so sweet. You know what? You look, you look fabulous, lady. Thank you. And speaking of fabulous, I had a fabulous situation yesterday. Um, I got a shot to do a one-on-one conversation with Shira's voice actress, Melindy Britt. Oh, and I made the mistake of trying to call her right in the middle of the conversation. Yeah. Why? I felt so stupid. Why? Yeah, but I had I kept, I actually kept apologizing to Janet because it's like I'm so sorry I had to hang up with you. I'm so sorry I had to hang I go, up with you. And I you. kept telling her, quit apologizing. If anyone should have been apologizing, it should have been me. Yeah, but here's the thing: it was supposed to be just three minutes, but it ended up being double that, almost seven minutes. So it was like that's not bad at all. I mean, I, I was really thrilled about that, and it's on my wall, so it's so. You get a chance to see it, like you hear the whole thing, including all the times the phone rang, <laughs> <laughs> including oh my, my stupid, no, my stupid deal. Don't worry. Oh, sorry, sorry, uh, Frodo. I was telling you, I was telling them about you know my I, my little one on one I did yesterday with Melendi Britt. You know, no, voice, you're good. I was just, <laughs> I was just gonna say, here's hoping that we don't have to deal with. You know who for another four years? No, yeah. I was oh. going to say, I hope we don't have to deal with Etta trying to come up towards the, uh... The U.S.? Yeah, because I feel like, enough already! And we broke U- a record, didn't we? Well, we've we're, t- cl- we're close. We're going to, if we get one more storm... Well, technically, back in 2005, we actually had, um... What was it? Zeta... Actually, actually ended 2005 and went into 2006. So, which is weird enough. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but I'll tell you right now. I'll see tomorrow. I mean, it's gonna. Be, I mean, I mean seriously. I'm looking forward to this. You know, being a poll worker because I've always wanted to see what it's like on the other side of the coin. You know. Uh huh. I can't say I blame you, but, um... You know, this is gonna be trial by fire, though, by far. This is by far gonna be the biggest... I I got a weird feeling that by the end of the election cycle, we're gonna be talking about a 65 to 70 percent, uh, voter turnout. Which is probably, this is probably one of the highest ever... 
I, 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 does that, does that, for a second? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, Watch hold on. Out. Go ahead, Mike. Can I for a second? Frodo, you may want to take a look at the chat real quick if you're there. James? No. No, no Twitch chat. Oh, I, can't. I see it. I see it. Uh, do you see what it, do you see what I'm saying? Big follows dot that that looks suspicious. Well, hold on. Let me get into the chat here. Okay, that okay. Let's, that looks suspicious to me. Excuse us, folks, but we're taking a look into something. Yeah. Bear with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me a minute to check it, because honestly, if you're seeing something odd, I want to see this. Yeah. Uh, you may not be able to see it because you're not already in there. He's heading in there. He's going to check it out. Yeah, but oh. by the time he gets in there, it will just give Takes... you a welcome, welcome to the uh, chat room. Yeah, you're right. Take screen caps. Okay. Oh, uh, I can do you one better. Give me a second. Seconds up. Five. Har har. Let's see. Yeah. I want to do but this. I, but, but I'll tell you something. This, that seven minutes with Melindy Britt yesterday was probably the best seven minutes I've had in a long time. <laughs> and it was so fun asking her questions and everything, you know. But but you know, you see, the thing is, it was only supposed okay. to be. It was only supposed to be three minutes. It turned into almost seven. Uh, so, you, you know want me what? to send this to you, Frodo, privately, or yeah, I would like. Oh God, give me a second. I had to actually submit a security code to Twitch. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah, I had to do that too. Yeah. I guess they have to do it for security reasons, which is fine. Well, well, and I I understand it perfectly. Yeah, me too. Well, well, I mean, do you have um, two form factor up? Yeah. That yeah. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> Same here. So did I. It, it, I'm I'm sorry, but if you don't have two factor up, you're insane. <laughs> So oh, then I guess I'm insane as mad as a hatter. Mm -hmm. no, I don't have to, I, I don't have two two part authentication activated. You should always activate it. Oh. Welcome to two part something 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 something. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh and I'm gonna say this as a technician to everyone who listens to is. this conversation. Uh, if you have an option for two-factor authentication for any website... There you go, Frodo. Send it to you. Okay, I see your message. Give me one moment. This is basically the screenshot that I put up. What was his name? Their name? I'm not going to mention it on air. No, I wouldn't no. blame you. Don't, don't mention it on air, yeah. but... I see what you're talking about, and that sounds spammy as fuck to me. Yeah, it does. And I know exactly what to do. Mm-hmm. See ya. Yay. The lurker in the woods, huh? Yep. No, uh, it wasn't a lurker in the it woods. Was a it was a spammer. It was a spam bot. Yeah. Basically, it was someone who wanted us to go to their website and who knows what would happen exactly i well, wouldn't I, be surprised if they were trying to track down how we're voting that's a possibility yeah oh but, shit. But yeah now here's the thing uh since tomorrow night is election night and i'm going to tell you the truth i don't know how late i'm going to end up staying at the um polling station as you know like i said we're not gonna we're not gonna turn away anybody once seven o'clock hits but see the thing is with this being such a big election and all who knows how many more people we're gonna have to take in it That's depends on how far the um line goes around the building right and and here's the other aspect in my state we have a nine o'clock uh close time so we don't even know who's gonna win our state until later in the day. Yeah, okay. Would you still close the polls even though you have people waiting outside in to vote? It's no. Illegal. It's, it's illegal. illegal. In, 
It's illegal in our state. <laughs> you, Same here. If you have people actively trying to vote, you, you have to let cannot. them in. You have to let them in. Yep. Which is fine. That's no biggie. Okay. I'll, I'm just going to stuff myself silly with uh, rice cakes, peanut butter, and jelly. Yep, you guessed it. Rice cake, peanut butter, and jelly sandwiches. Okay, um... um... Got yeah, I know. Boss I know. I'm your... the oddball without the beyond BTA logo on my nickname, but <laughs> everyone knows me as Lord Chaotic. Yes, <laughs> Lord. And I'm Chaotic. not a hunter. I am supposed to be a hunter. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's kind of a nice, funny joke for the sir for our show. You know, mm -hmm, it was yeah. a mistype. But it was a funny mistype. Exactly. Yeah. Oh Shirley and I have this deal. Getting out of the shout. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I remember that. something we were typing. In the piss getting out of the shout. <laughs> I don't even know where the hell that came from. I was well, trying to get we, out of the we, house, not get out of the shout. It was back when we sandboxed all the time. It was uh -huh. back when we sandboxed all the time. Mm -hmm. And I, I dubbed that. those verbal typos. Especially after asking for bug deodorant and trying to find laid potato chips. Yeah, after getting me laid. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. You know, I think, I think you'd like those kind of potato chips, Janet. <laughs> I will be right back. Okay. Actually, I got an idea. One of these days, Janet, if they make a wasabi-based potato chip... Oh, God. I've been oh, there, done God. like that. I've been there, done that, tried that, didn't like them. Okay. Hmm. How about this? We subject you to the one-chip challenge. Well, I I'm discovered. Well, speaking of chips, I actually discovered uh, there are two sets of golden flake chips I can eat. Because they're gluten free. The hot and the barbecue. Okay. Where are you torturing me through there? Frodo? What? Me? Oh. oh, geez. I discovered wasabi the hard way. There used to be a little Japanese rest, uh, Japanese play, food place in the food court at our local mall. Mm -hmm. And they did. Just a little tiny blob of wasabi on the plate. Yep. I took just a little bit on the end of my fingertip. <laughs> it tasted <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Here's what you need, Shirley. Uh -huh. That's what we need to give. We need to do with Janet and Is have her do chat? it. And okay. have her do it on the air. Okay, what is this? Packy Com One Chip Challenge. Okay, let's see what kind one of chips chip here. Ding 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 one Chip Challenge. If you scroll down about a quarter of the way on the on the screen, Shirley, uh -huh. you can actually see the one chip. Oh my gosh, that's gotta be mega hot. That's gotta be why um they call it the one chip challenge. It, it, okay, it, I'm trying to see the. It has what kind of chip? It's a tortilla chip. Except it's oh, black. Oh, rumble with the reaper. No, it's black with the Carol Ca Carolina Reaper. I almost said California. Why? It, it it has it has Carolina Reaper, Scorpion Pepper, and Szechuan peppercorns. Oh shit! What's okay. the No, Next just listen to that. you can survive the challenge. What the frick? Five minutes to an hour. Five minutes you're a featherweight. Ten minutes you're a lightweight. 30 minutes, you're a middleweight, and an hour plus, you're a heavyweight. Yep. Oof, duh. Well, I'd be a lightweight. Uh, you wouldn't want me to that. I'm, my deal is that, that that spice has to be natural. It can't be, um... It is. So, they okay. provide the chips? You get... You have to buy one chip. One chip. 
is six ninety nine. That's kind of robbery. It sounds like robbery, but you're also getting a collect a collectible coffin. Hmm. Tell me something. Did the money raised from this challenge go to charity? Hmm. Hell no. But that'd be the only way I'd do that. Oh come on. You you know how popular the one chip challenge is on YouTube and Twitch? Well, you want some? I can't have a belly ache for a week. I can't eat it. I I literally cannot eat it because my uh system is basically allergic to extreme temperatures like that. Ooh. So if I were to take the one chip challenge, my wife would be, have to be out of the house for three days. In other words, the fart bombs go off. They're not fart bombs. Mm -hmm. That's fart napalm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Do you in other see words, the... if you're in the room, you grab your ass, duck your head, and pray. <clears throat> Yeah, you hope that everything you survive. Either that or buy five gallons of Otoban and get rid of the smell. That'll work. I don't know if it will. Don't wake up. Don't go to sleep on us yet, girlfriend. Oh, sorry. Wakey, uh, wakey. Hey, let me put it this way. The time change. Let me put it this way. My whole body has been off today, and here's why. I had to do lab work. You know, when you do lab work, you're not supposed to eat anything, right? Right. Well, what happened was, I got there at 7.30. There was already people waiting. Okay? Right. So, I ended up waiting. I was ready to play. Okay, I'm going to plan for Wednesday. That way, I can get it done. But thankfully, they called me in, and they got me done. But I waited for an hour. So, when I got home, it was about 8.50. It's like, God damn it, I am already late for breakfast. It's like, and it's like, my whole body just got thrown off. And tomorrow's going to be the same way, because now I'm going to eat breakfast very early. Then I'm going to be well, relying you know on rice do? cakes, peanut butter, and jelly. You have peanut butter? Mm-hmm. You could get the protein from peanut butter. Yeah. The energy from the jelly. Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me. Take a little dish full of dry cereal, mm -hmm. if you could tolerate dry cereal. Yeah. And just snack on it, you know, between lunch breaks between mm -hmm. food breaks yeah and that way your stomach won't be so growly mm -hmm. just yeah. a thought yeah that's fine but i mean today was crazy tomorrow's gonna be even crazier because think i'm gonna have to eat breakfast at about 4 30 i gotta get dressed I gotta get down to the pub, like, polling place at six don't know how they're gonna do like breaks on because i think they're only gonna like maybe 10 to 15 minutes which you know i can understand why because you know people they're gonna be, it's gonna be on the move constantly so that's fine. Uh, yeah. it's just that I really apologize for being super sleepy, but the time change and the time change and the lab work threw me off today. Oh, you're uh, good. But I was going to say, who all on BTA, if we were to do the one chip challenge, who all would be willing to do it? And if we raised a shit ton of money, what, uh, what charities would we send it to? If we could, um, like, um, to um, charities that help the people who are down on their luck during the pandemic mm -hmm. by by that a food pan, a food charity um, what other ones can you think of Shirley um, a food charity um, one one I could think of is uh, is is a direct relief oh they yeah are, uh, humanitarian yeah. aid which uh -huh. they're very popular on mm -hmm. um, Twitch. And thanks to um, Direct Relief Gaming, which is hosted by the founder of Zelda Fawn, I would go go with them. Mm -hmm. Direct Relief, I would probably, no, I would probably be considered stingy. Um, um, a local charity that needs really needs our help now is St. Mary's Food Bank. Oh, so, blop, blop, fizz, fizz. Oh, really for this. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. So, you... on the bottom of this webpage, they actually have a warning. 
And I'm going to read this warning just to make you laugh. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Do not eat. Of course. If you are sensitive to spicy foods. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I can take spicy food up to a point, but I'd like to taste the food, not the spicy fucking spice. Yeah, it's like when I were when I go down to like GT South and order this stuff for own burger, lately I've been doing it with jalapeno. Uh -huh. Alright. So and it's the real thing. It's not fake, so. Do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods, allergic to peppers or nightshades or capsaicin or, or are pregnant or have any medical conditions. Keep out of reach of children. After touching the chip, Wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive areas. Seek medical assistance should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea. Ooh, I learned about the capsicum and a chili pepper the hard way. We had I just bought some um, um, oh, hatch chilies. We were roasting them on the barbecue grill out back, and I was helping him peel the peels off the peppers, and I wasn't even thinking, and I wipe, I had an itch in my eye, so I wiped my fingers across my eyes, and I'm like, oh, fucking shit. That hurt, and I had to go, give me some cold water, quick. Now I know why pepper spray is so effective. Yeah, well, um, let me put it this way. The one chip challenge, the spice level is about one fifth, I think it is, of pepper spray, where pepper spray is about 10 million Scoville units. Mm. This is well in excess of two mil. Uh, forget it. I wouldn't be able to take the doggone challenge. How about you, Shirley? Uh, what kind of challenge was it again? I'm sorry. It's the one chip challenge. I probably could not take that one because... That doggone chili, what was it? Carolina Calif Reaper Carolina and what Reaper. else? That's it, the Carolina Reaper. I thought, Frodo, you said there was two chili peppers involved in that chip. There are. Carolina Reaper, and what's the other one? Um, I can't remember offhand, but it's Carolina Reaper is the hottest pepper out there. The, I had heard somewhere that there was one that was a little bit hotter than a Carolina Reaper. Nope. No thing has supplanted the Carolina Reaper yet. Oh, boy. <laughs> And it also has, um, it also has some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Szechuan peppercorns in it. Oh! Mm. The, the, the Szechuan peppers must be those little red peppers that no, the Chinese use in their cooking. They're, they're peppercorns. They're like this big, Shirley, Janet. And they don't, they're not so much spicy as they are numbing. Oh, there was a show on called uh, uh, Who's the Cook? The, his last name is Rand Gordon Ramsay Uncharted. And he yeah. was in the Mekong Delta. He was in the Mekong Delta. Hmm. He goes to these different places and cooks these meals. Like in the, he was in the Mekong Delta and he was getting ready to cook a meal for some monks in a temple. And he tried a spice that was so spicy, it numbed his lips completely. That was probably <laughs> something akin to Szechuan peppercorns. Because uh -huh. that's kind Hold of what they do. Shirley! Wake up, Shirley! <laughs> yeah, you burst off again. Sorry. I'm just, okay. I, am, I am overly tired, I'm not going to lie. No, okay. well, you're fine, Shirley. We have but... five minutes. Okay. Well, one of these days, we're going to have to create a little program where when, like, Mike 
sees you sleeping or one of us sees you sleeping on the air, <laughs> we have a little thing hooked to your computer and it just <laughs> spritz, spritz, spritz. <laughs> I wish That'd I could. I w- you know, I wish we could do that. Damn it, Jeff! Wake up! <laughs> no, you know what we should do? What? We should get a air raid siren just for waking people up. <laughs> Surely, I hope mine blowing into the mic didn't startle your no, ears. No, 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 Janet. <laughs> listen, I keep my volume at twenty-eight. It's not that loud. <laughs> I I think it's funny because I just saw Mike's face. And he had that look of ooh, like when wow. Wayne, like, like this, like the night, like the like that episode of Who's Line when Wayne Brady found out he would have to sing a Yoko Ono song about the attorney. <laughs> no, uh, oh my. if you look it up, Silent Hill Alarm on face on uh, YouTube, Silent Hill Siren, like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sucker is loud, right? Oh, yeah. I wonder if y'all can hear it over over my mic. No. I have to turn I'll it find it when I get through. Yeah, just put it in the, put it in the chat and we can look at it later. Surely? Yes. I hope, I hope your boss understands you're going to be late Wednesday. What are you talking about? Work. Janet, the poll is tomorrow. I'm talking about Wednesday. No, Wednesday isn't call center day. That's Thursday. Okay. All right. My brain is up my my brain is up my ass. Yeah, but my no. brain my brain is also up my ass, my ass, my ass, my ass. But I think I think if we uh were to set up a siren for you waking up mm-hmm. for you to have to wake up, that would probably catch your attention. Yeah. Or, or, or what I always do, do to Lulu, who's actually laying down sleeping. Mm-hmm. Wakey, wakey, chicken, bakey. <laughs> I like that one. That's <laughs> like, cute. Oh, no. Yeah. But anyway, let's see. We're down to the last three minutes for the night. And I got to go straight to bed because I got to be ready to rock and roll in the morning. Uh, oh, if, well, I'm going well, to gonna wake you up at, I'm going to wake you up at 2 a.m. <laughs> She'll smack you when that. she sees you. No, I'll smack you. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be up at quarter to eight because mm-hmm. I normally get up at, at quarter to eight on uh, Tuesdays and um, Thursdays anyway for uh, mm-hmm. breakfast stream. Yep. But I'm going to go over to uh, my uh, my uh, polling place at uh, eight o'clock because I'm like a few minutes away walking to yep. fix it. Which is always a good thing. Well, Ashley. Ashley, how are you doing in there? Hello, Ashley. I don't know if she's still in there, but I know JJ was. But, um, but you know, we are running out of time. I'm just going to say this. If, if anyone out there listening is just like me and going to be actually working at the polls tomorrow, please be careful, follow the rules, and be safe, all right? Don't forget your mask. Yep. Well, the good news is for some people, they'll, they'll provide us with masks, but there wouldn't be enough people outside to provide everybody with a mask. So. But the good news is I have my own, and I'm having to say none of them are politically towards one side, so I don't have to worry. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it either. All right. But anyway, uh, all seriousness, uh, if you are going to be a poll worker tomorrow like me, Please be careful and stay safe. Okay, because you never know if there's any type of crazy person. Seriously. but I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we hear the, about the little bit of craziness on the news sometime tomorrow. Yeah, there's probably going to be some. But uh, i say this right now. First off, tomorrow, we do not have a show at all because I really don't know how late I'm going to be staying We're at the bowling place because, you know, we come in, we got to set it up. Then when, when the last voter goes, well, then we got to take it down so the, so the church can get ready to go back to um, being, the, you know, being the church again. Being Regularly church. scheduled programming? Yeah, exactly. But, um, let's see. Reveille, I, Reveille, I'm Reveille. sorry I'm being goofy, but yeah, I'm, you're having, fine. I'm having fun. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Oh, blue, uh, right? Yep. Oh, blue. Yep, anyway, uh, like I said. Hold, hold no, that up again, Frodo. Huh? We got, 
Hold that thing up again. Why? <laughs> Just hold it up for me, please. Okay. Hang in there, Cheryl. That's fine. Boat blue. Yep. Oh, nice. I may be red, but I, but I may be red, but I'm going country over party, so. Yeah. All right, but oh, anyway. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, like I said, we will not have a show tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday will be Warzone Wednesday, the day after. <laughs> which, if, which I will say, if we have election results for any of the important places that we care about, so uh, Alabama, Arizona, Iowa, or Illinois, we're going to put them out there, so. Oh, all right. So let's see. Uh, when should be the day after, and we'll try not to talk too much because you know we who knows we not even ha we may not even have results by this point. So no, we may not have presidential results, but we might have state results. Right. And that's what I was thinking is state results. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Which is does that does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Because that as way, as long as it gets Mister Orange face out of the picture. Well, keep this in mind, though. Um, if Biden wins, remember, he'll only be the president-elect until January 20th, 2021, at 12 noon Eastern. Yep. So, technically, Trump will still be the president until that time. And if... And here's the thing I'm gonna say. If Cheeto McFuckface tries to stage some kind of coup d'etat de, and keep himself in office, we as, well, we're not mainstream, but we are the media, mm -hmm. need to make it clear that that is not acceptable as per the Constitution. Mm-hmm. Shoot, since when has he done anything according to Constitution? Uh, no, never. Never, and he doesn't even believe in the Constitution. He no. Follow it. All right, let's let poor Shirley get get the ending played so she could go to bed. Yeah. All right. Go. So, all right. Uh, let me get to the ending. There we go. So that mind. Oh, we, you know what we forgot to do? Uh, Thursday. I forgot what the hell we are going to do. Thursday, Thursday is. Um, it's supposed to be a wild card day. We'll figure that out later. We'll figure it out. You know what? Let's just make it a general thing. We'll just do like we did last week. Sure, okay. I'm down. All right. Me too. Yeah, but you're the only man lives and family friendly cards against humanity Thursday and Friday. So. Okay. All the game. Yeah, so that way we can have two nights of fun to get us past all this craziness, right? Right. Yep. You feel all right with that, Tim? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, that way, that way we'll have two nights for a good for good humor to get our mind off of this whole crazy mess. All right, I'm yeah, out. Yeah, but after this whole crazy mess all is right, over, I won't be able to use my Trump references in the game anymore. Yes, oh, you, you can. can still use them. Uh, we're we're gonna allow we're gonna keep allowing the Trumpisms because they're too damn good. Yeah, well, I mean after all, Kofifi, Hamburger, Bigley, Colonel Moormark, Kofifi okay. of the Battle of Bowling Green, Lieutenant Jefferson Hamburger Let's of the Battle of LaGuardia International keep it Airport. Down so Mike won't have to suffer anymore tonight. No, I mean those are just the fun things we came up with. Those <laughs> yeah. those are just those are just Trumpisms, but yeah. Let's call it a night. Yeah, I agree. Let's I do got, that. I got stuff that I, I got to get some sleep. Me, me do, yeah. yeah, and I've got to get up and watch a little TV. All right, so I'm just going to say love, peace, and chicken grease. Everybody have a great night. Sleep well. Stay safe. And if you are voting tomorrow, please stay safe. All right? Practice social distancing. Wear a mask. And, but like I said, for the most part, most states, we're gonna, or they're going to let you vote without a mask because they will get you to a different look, different spot, different bleh, part of the place we have to be able to vote. So, um, everybody, you know, everybody, go out and vote tomorrow, no matter which side you're voting on, because your voice will count. Well, hey, I voted mm. way about 
weeks ago. So did I. My vote's already counted. All right. So everybody have a great night, and we'll see you Wednesday or the night after. <laughs> Good night, All everybody. Right. Night, everyone. Okay.